Over the years, I have given a lot of guff to those of you who use Nano. I have talked a lot of smack, some trash talk, some downright bullying, probably. Uh, I've been very elitist when it comes to Vim and my love of Vim and all things Vim. And I've made videos about this love of Vim many, many times over the course of the last three years. Uh, arrogance is probably the best word to describe it. I, I freely admit that I'm a bit of a Vim fanboy, just a small teeny schmidge of a Vim fa uh, fanboy. And that's a problem, okay? It is definitely a problem. And I realized that this was a problem in my video a couple days ago where I was doing a speed run of uh, Polybar and i3 and Kitty and stuff like that. And in that video, I spent about three minutes trying to figure out how to use Nano, okay? Now, in that video, I made a comment, something along the lines of, is this what pe people who don't know how to use Vim, is this how they feel when they get into Vim and don't know how to exit it? Because I had no clue what I was doing, even though there are instructions right there at the bottom. Those are way too... Uh, I mean, instructions are for other people, I guess. I don't know. The, the point is, is that I was downright lost. I had no clue what I was doing. Now, I know the basics of, of Nano. I know how to get out of a, you know, save a file and all that stuff. I've gotten that far. But there is more to Nano than just learning how to exit it. Just like there's more to Vim than learning how to colon WQ, right? So, I'm going to challenge myself. I I've challenge myself to things in the past on this channel and I think that that's one of the things that I like to do is kind of broaden my horizons because you, you can't have the arrogance of liking something so much that you proselytize it over and over again and shout it from the rooftops. You can't be that person unless you've also tried the alternatives and lived in the alternatives. You can't criticize something unless you've used it extensively. So for the next month, I'm uninstalling NeoVim, I'm uninstalling Vim, and I'm going to use Nano for the next month exclusively on my main machine and on my laptop and on my standing desk. There's going to be no Vim whatsoever for the next month if I can succeed in the challenge. We'll see. I mean, I think this is going to probably be more challenging than the, the Red Core challenge, but we'll see. Obviously, you can tell I think that because I'm only doing it for a month and not six months. That, that would be just, that sounds like torture. It was hyperbole, but you get the idea, <laughs> you know. So, anyways, I'm going to use Nano for the next month exclusively, and I'm going to kind of report back on my findings. So, there's going to be two more videos in this series. I'm not going to overload you on Nano videos. There's going to be one on customizing Nano because, believe it or not, Nano does have a configuration file. Who knew this? I mean, seriously? I just figured Nano was Nano. It has options? What kind of options can Nano have? Apparently it has it has options, so we're gonna find out what those options are together. I'll make a video on that, and then at the end of the month, if I'm still using Nano, I will do a wrap up video talking about my experiences, and I will be as objective as, as I possibly can. I think I'll be able to be more objective after having used Nano for a little while because I'll have both positive and negative things to say about it, and I'll have actually have used it for a long period of time, which I haven't done up until this point. Like I've never actually used Nano for a long period of time. Yes, I've used it, you know, as one off when Vim or uh, Vi or NeoVim haven't been installed, but I've never actually lived in it to do my work. And this is going to be big, big for me because I do a lot of my work inside of Vim. I write all of my stuff. I'm a writer by trade. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a very interesting experience. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm expecting to fail within the first three days. If I make it past the three-day mark, I probably will be able to make it to full month. If I'm going to fail, it will be in the next three days. So we'll see how it goes. Anyways, that's it for this video. I I, I, if you are a Vim user, if you're a fellow Vim user, I implore you to take this challenge with me so that I don't do it alone. Uh, there is a channel on my Discord server, which will be called the Challenges channel from now on. Uh, you can come join us there and we'll talk about this. If you are a Nano user, I implore you to go the other direction. Abandon your beloved Nano and try Vim for the next 30 days. See how it goes. Just to let you know, quitting, very easy, colon WQ will get you out of Vim. There are many other ways of closing and quitting Vim. You'll be able to discover the, discover those on your own. The documentation is fantastic. Um, it's better than Nano. <laughs> I don't know if that's true or not. I just wanted to... Uh, this is my last day of bad-mouthing Nano. I, I had to get something out of my system. Anyways, that's it for this video. Join the challenge if you 
dare. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you're going to join. Let me know. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. You can support me on YouTube or LiberPay. Those links will be in the video description as well. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel was not anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are all just so good. You guys are just absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for your support. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.